In this video, I am going to show you how to implement InterTCL add in Android Studio project using Kotlin. Now create a new project and give a project name here InterTCL add Kotlin. and select the language Kotlin and click finish now open a browser and type here intertitial add android and click on intertitial add android google for developer click here and this is the documentation of InterTCL add this is the test add unit id first click on get started and copy this dependency and open the build gradle and paste here in the manifest folder and click on manifest and paste this data inside the application tab and now copy this sample id sample app id and replace this this is the sample app id when you list your app in admob then appmob will provide a app id and then you replace this sample app id to your original admob app id so i am using the sample app id for testing purpose Now go to the main activity and declare some variables here. Copy this, select Kotlin first and now copy this. Now open the browser and type here Google AdMob GDPR implementation and click here. and click on get started and copy this dependency and paste on build gradle click on sync now and scroll the page and copy this line and paste here import the class and also import this class remove this line first create a button for displaying interstitial add and give the id btn so adds and on click make a function display adds and give the tags for buttons 
so it is a light now open a browser and copy these lines and do modification of these codes create a function request concern info update and paste the inside code inside this function and do modification like this and call this function on create now create a function for load add load adds first check some condition if concerned information dot can request add and another is if is mobile adds inter in slice called and dot get set true and open the browser and copy this these lines and copy these line and paste inside this condition and this is a sample add unit id and this is for testing purpose now create a function for add callbacks so create a function adds callback and now open the browser and here is set the full screen content callback and make sure to set callback before showing interstitial light so copy these callbacks and paste inside this function import these classes here is the some callback methods on add click when user click on your add this callback will hit and now when add dismiss full screen content then then am intentional add set the null and load the new adds so call the function load adds here here is the callback if add fail to show and here is the if impression if you want to count your impression create a variable add count or create a variable
add impression if you want to code if you want to count your add impression first create a variable add impression when impression will generate then your app impression count will be increment and call this adds callback function inside this load add adds callback now create a function so adds and pass a condition here interstitial add is not null then m interstitial add dot so this else then so a text message else so a text message the interstitial add was not ready yet and now inside the display add button on click call this so adds and now go to the function request concern info update and this else part is mobile initialize called and call here function load adds now run the app and test app is loading successfully and wait and now click on so interstitial light button and our interstitial ad is displaying successfully and our callback also working now testing for concern info form is working or not so copy these lines and inside the this function and replace these lines import these classes and copy this device id and replace this device id now run the app now user request concern info form is displaying now click on concern and click on show button show adds button so our app is working perfectly if you want to reset concern information you can use these codes concern for reset but this is only for testing purpose
before publishing your app remove this debug settings this setting only for testing purpose if you like the video then subscribe the channel thank you for watching this video